students myself sagar choksi from lj institutes of engineering and technology so in this session we will discuss about a new subject that related to automobile chassis and body engineering this subject is related to your automotive domain right so first of all what is automobile chassis and body engineering so first of all it is the combination of two word first word that is automobile chassis second word word that is body engineering so first of all we need to discuss about what is chassis what do you understand by chassis second one that is what is body engineering okay there are many types of chassis are there there are many types of frame are there so in this particular session we will discuss about syllabus or overview uh, overview of automobile chassis and body engineering second one that is functions and applications so let's start the lecture lecture number 1 that related to automobile chassis and body engineering so first of all what is vehicle chassis okay what do you understand by frame or vehicle chassis so as you can see that there is one frame okay as you can see there is one road it's like a frame and in which in which it connect with four wheeler and engine so it became chassis okay so it became chassis frame means only road okay only road but if if you construct if you attach with four wheeler okay mounting if you attach with a uh, four wheeler plus engine so it became chassis and over there you can see in image and over there one car body is placed so this is whole structure so this is what vehicle chassis so move forward to next slide so here in this particular chapter we will discuss about introduction of chassis second one that is function of chassis frame here we will see we will discuss about difference between here we will discuss about difference between frame and chassis also it is very important third one that is types of chassis or you can take types of types of chassis frame and chassis component okay there are many types of chassis like ladder frame okay monocoque u frame okay space frame right so there are many types of chassis are there and fourth one that is chassis frame operating design consideration okay which type of design consideration are, are there what is the objectives of chassis frame operating design okay so in this particular chapter we will discuss about first of all difference between frame and chassis second one types of Uh, there are many types of chassis okay types of chassis third one that is chassis chassis frame operating and design consideration and last one that is chassis component so move forward to next slide car body second chapter that is car body now we can see that there is one frame and in uh, with the frame four wheelers are mounted and over there one body is placed that is called car body so in this particular chapter we will discuss about classification of vehicle body or even take classification of four wheeler body okay number 2 types of material used in body structure there are many types of material used in car body okay for example you can take x car so there are different material you can take y car there are different material there you can take z car there are different material according to load capacity according to uh, passengers load these all are designed okay so second one that is types of material used in body construction third one that is vehicle structure analysis now so it related to driver seat okay passenger seat so this is what vehicle structure analysis and fourth one that is crash worthiness so in this particular uh, chapter we will discuss about four questions first question that is classification of car body or vehicle body okay what is car body then types of material there are different types of material in body construction third one that is vehicle structure analysis okay driver seat consideration passenger seat consideration and last one that is crash worthiness move forward to next slide so here you can see that this is a car body okay base base part is your frame or chassis and over there car body is placed as you can see in image so you can directly understand what is car body okay so move forward to next slide next and important chapter that is bus body and commercial vehicle body in this particular uh, uh, subject okay we will 
not only discuss car body we will discuss about bus body and commercial vehicle body now what is bus body and what is commercial vehicle body so in commercial vehicle body we will take auto rickshaw space uh, space frame sports uh, sports car also okay mini bus uh, mini truck semi truck so first one that is classification of bus body so there are many types of bus bodies uh, there are mini bus school bus okay uh, long distance bus long distance travel bus okay so there are many types of bus bodies available okay number 2 second one that is bus body layout and bus body regulations okay third and important question that is bus construction detail in this particular bus construction detail we will discuss about driver seat consideration passenger seat consideration which type of frame are used and which type of chassis are there okay and different types of metal according to load capacity we will discuss different type of material different type of metal fourth one that is classification of commercial vehicle there are many types of classification in commercial vehicle like auto rickshaw like sports car okay so we will discuss this funda in this particular chapter fifth one and important one that is dimension of driver seat okay so in this particular chapter we will also discuss passenger seat consideration passenger seat dimension okay so in this particular chapter we will discuss classification of bus body second one that is bus body layout and bus body regulations third one that is bus construction detail and types of metal uh, which depend on load capacity fourth one that is classification of commercial vehicle and uh, based on that we will discuss about dimensions of driver's seat so move forward to next and important chapter fourth one that is vehicle aerodynamics so now the question is what is vehicle aerodynamics so it is the combination of two word first of all first word that is vehicle second word that word that that is aerodynamics so the first and important question that is concept of vehicle aerodynamics so now the question is what is vehicle aerodynamics okay which type of forces are there so for example no matter how slowly your car is moving through the air okay it takes some energy it takes some resistance that is that that resistance that force is known as drag force okay it takes some energy it takes some resistance so in this particular chapter we will discuss about vehicle aerodynamics air plus dynamics concept of vehicle aerodynamics number 2 external and internal flow problem so that related to outside your car body and inside your car body third one that is drag and types of drag fourth one that is aerodynamic development of car vehicle aerodynamics that related to aerodynamic development of car okay so which type of development are there okay we will discuss in this particular chapter and last one that is optimization of car bodies for low drag okay we have to optimize our car body for low drag okay so there are five concept here first concept that is concept of vehicle aerodynamics second one that is external and internal flow problems that related to outside your car body that related to inside your car body third one that is drag and types of drag fourth one that is aerodynamic development of car and last one that is optimization of car bodies for low drag right so here you can see that vehicle aerodynamics okay your car is moving okay air pressure increase and now it now drag enters drag force enters okay how it is possible how your drag works okay we will discuss in this particular chapter okay fifth chapter that is ergonomics and safety so first of all what is ergonomics right in each and everywhere there are ergonomics okay in each and every factory you can see you can find out ergonomic concept okay in workshop in industrial workshop in automotive type workshop you can find out each and everywhere this funda okay ergonomics right so first of all what is ergonomics so ergonomics is one kind of science which deal with the safety purposes okay so either you can take worker safety or you can take organization safety each and everywhere there are some ergonomics level okay so in first uh, first concept you can find out concept of ergonomics and safety in this particular chapter you can find out concept of ergonomics and safety second one that is driver seat design of bus body and commercial vehicle body so in this particular uh, chapter you can also find out driver seat design of bus body and different commercial vehicle body third one that is safety aspect in design and types of safety there are many types of safety available in our organization 
either you can take industry purpose or you can take automotive purpose right fourth one that is method of improving vis visibility okay nowadays it is a very important question because ultimately we have to reduce our accident okay there are many types of safety available there are active safety there are passive safety okay so methods of improving visibility is very important funda okay fifth fifth one that is introduction of crash test chases and body alignment so now the question is what is alignment test alignment test is nothing but it is related to line of axis okay line of axis are same so now we can see that we can find out that in four wheeler you can find out alignment test you can find out uh, balancing test so in this particular chapter we will discuss about introduction of crash test chases and body alignment test so here you can uh, see that there are five aspect of ergonomics first word first one that is safety second word that is, that is comfort zone third one that is ease of use ease of operating facility fourth one that is productivity productivity performance is equal to output by input okay you have to increase your output from same input okay so ergonomics are there fifth one that is aesthetics okay so ergonomics and safety that uh, related to this five fundamental first word that is safety comfort ease of use productivity and aesthetics okay in this uh, particular subject you can find out five different chapter okay and there are uh, three credit for lecture and two credit for practical total total credit for this particular subject is equal to four so thank you thank you so much in this particular session we have completed introduction session okay so in next session we will discuss about chapter number one that related to chases and frame okay so thank you thank you so much